We're on Salt Spring Island in the Gulf Islands of British Columbia. I grew up here and as a young boy I walked over this shoreline many times. But it wasn't until university when I came here in a field geology course that I learned what was underneath my feet and what I'd been missing all those years and it's really quite beautiful. So what's so interesting about this point? We have this very massive looking green rock below. Now that's a volcanic tuff. It's a bunch of ash, volcanic ash, that was laid down on an ocean floor about 300 million years ago. This is the Devonian Nitinat formation. Directly above it, there are all these pebbles and boulders and sand and it's a clastic sedimentary rock. Now that is, you can probably see these pebbles, is definitely not part of this older volcanic rock. This younger conglomerate, and it actually grades up into a finer sandstone above. It's no more than 80 million years old. So this 300 million year old rock is just below, and the line is right here. That's the unconformity, right there. 300 million years, no more than 80 million years. So there's 200 million years of history right on that line. But what happened? Underneath the Nitinat formation, these old volcanic rocks, on top, boulders and sediments, sand, huge tracts of sandstone. So what happened in between? My teacher very patiently sat there reciting, the present is the key to the past, the present is the key to the past. She just said, well look at the rocks, what are they made of? And what you can see is this green Devonian Nitinat formation. It's very massive below, underneath my hand is massive. Right above is the unconformity. And you can see all these pebbles and boulders and rocks. And if you look at what they're made of, they're made of this green Nitinat formation. So we racked our brains about this, and it finally hit us. Look where we are. We're on a coastline. We're on a beach. Look what's around us. Rocks, boulders, shells, sand. It's all here. What we're looking at in these rocks, that unconformity, it represents an erosional surface, a coastline, a beach, an ancient beach. So we're looking through the lens of time. We're sitting on a beach looking at an ancient coastline as we sit on a modern coastline. It really is impressive looking like this into the abyss of time. Of course it isn't really that simple. These rocks weren't formed here. They were buried a long time ago, lithified, uplifted, eroded into what we see now. But they're still eroding, and the rocks and sand that come off of this point will one day make new rocks.